of the week. This week I've been talking about being curious and asking questions. I've always been inquisitive because my brain's wired differently. When I was younger, I struggled in social situations, always felt one step behind the conversation and the last person to always get the joke. So I started studying body language that led me to my fascination with micro expressions and I can now identify the tiniest movements that help me recognize mannerisms so that I can fill in the gaps and understand different personalities and characteristic traits. Human beings are confusing because if I say to somebody, can you look after my bag for me? They'll go, yes, while shaking their head. And it's so difficult to understand what people really mean because most of the time they don't say it. I notice the tiniest movements at home with my other half. If he says something that he doesn't believe to be true, his shoulder will lift up like this. Like, it looks so big to me, but it's the tiniest flinch. We all have signs. If we say something that's not in line with us, we have to disperse that energy through our feet or our hands. It's exhausting. The quote of the week is, curiosity is the engine of achievement, Ken Robinson.